Okay, so for the house down there at the Fort O'Connor, we needed some some trim boards, and they're 16 feet. So we hooked up this trailer that we've made. I've shown you it before for the uh, metal and all that, the long haul trailer as I call it. Um, it's really good for around here, but I just didn't want to drive it two hours down there. Plus, I already have one trailer down there, so um, I'm going to show you another method to haul these on the truck. My wife and I are going to drive separately this weekend, and sometimes when I run down to McCoy's or whatever, I go by myself anyway, so I don't care if the store will open. So you can come down the side, and I know you've seen it, people hanging it on their mirrors and tying it on you know, like this, across the top, and sticking about 10 feet above the cab, and um, you've seen all kinds of stuff. And this is probably gonna look just as weird, but it just feels a little safer to me by having it along the length of the side of the car here. Um, you could build two stick pockets like I did in the old one. We had the, the ones out of wooden, and then the little attachment on the tailgate that worked as well too, but I just had this. Um, it was a cut off of something I messed up on, and so I, drilled one hole in here and it fits right in here on this uh, support brake support bracket uh, bolt and then this hood shuts down just in case I guess but um, I've already hauled it here once um, just from McCoy's last weekend um, I hauled two sticks of the trim on it and then this week I'm just gonna so I'm gonna I'm gonna bend it a little better last week it was kind of way up in the air and whatever so I want to bend it down to about right here so it'll go under the mirror and then the second piece, I'm going to build, bend one more out of re rebar. This was a piece of, uh, actually they, we had about 20 of these laying here when we bought this house. Um, she was using them for some kind of stakes and I just kept them, figured I'd need them for something. But I'm going to build one more exactly this shape. I love it. Um, you just hook it into your stake pocket and hang it. I'll show you in just a second when I get the other one done. Um, and then it leaves it at just slightly an angle about like that. And then your boards are here all under your mirror and you've got three supports about every six to eight feet so i'm gonna get this one bent and then i'll bend you one of these and show you how to do it and it's also good if you have a work truck as they say <laughs> so this one's already all beat up and i don't care um but i will probably wrap it with um some electrical tape or uh, the rebar i might even just get a piece of water hose and slide over the end and that way it'll be supported uh, this one I'll probably just put some, you know, I don't know, something on the back here that's sticky. Some felt or some Velcro or something. So I'll just put it on my vise and give it a few whacks. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect because you're just going to have it hanging off the side of the truck, right? Make sure you bend it in the same direction. So this one needs to be bent up as well. Somewhat there. quite the same but it looks like it might be close enough I'll just have more sticking through the hole so let's go see if it'll work okay so this one oh yeah just a little more sticking through actually I like that better because there's more sticking through than on the short one here so it's less likely for it to uh, fall out. There we go. And that's what you've got. You've got one, two, three. And let's load some boards on here. And there you go. These are a little flimsier than I'd like to carry on there. Um, but the regular 1x4 trim works great on there. Uh, but this will get me down there. Hopefully I won't have to take the trailer. I'm still debating it on this, but if you're in a pinch, if I was just going to McCoy's and back to pick stuff up and I didn't want to hook up the trailer, this would be perfect because I wouldn't worry about it then. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, get outside, do something, and we'll catch you in the next video.